Write us a story about a man who returned home after work in the evening, went into an empty apartment and suddenly found out something. Even on the landing I got a feeling that something was wrong. My chest tingled, an old wood spread over the body, a reminder of what happened in the past. Enough, shut up, mentally ordered myself, did not help. Two turns of the key, an acid door creak, a misty smell of a familiar and at the same time disgust apartment. I stepped over the threshold. Hello, I'm home, I said into the void and chuckled nervously. Goosebumps ran down my back. It was exactly the same last time. I put the grocery bag on the floor, horror stuck in my throat, never escaping from me, with a heart ridden like scream. Everything repeats itself, I said looking at the mirror with fear. I forgot to buy milk again. As soon as I opened the door, I immediately realized that something was wrong. The smell of decay and cheap perfume can't be. I wanted to rush back, but it was too late. Well, stand. Wanted to leave me? And leave for fun? Said a familiar voice. A crooked silhouette covered in cardiac spots sat on the couch. My ex. I'll get you, bastard. Everywhere I get you. You swore an oath, bitch. How did she find me? I moved to another city, changed my name. In happiness and sorrow, until death do us apart. So hell, and she still won't leave me alone. I should have buried her deeper. I thought, took a shower in the pantry and moved to the sofa. Fucking job. Returned home late at night. The street lamp burned out. Well, of course. I have to call tomorrow to have the lamp replaced. Peel. There is something sticky on the porch. Again, the neighbor's kids were having fun. And as luck would have it, I left my glasses in the office. I don't see anything at all. Oh, and what's this? Sharp from below, sharp from above. They broke the door, only chips stick out. Well, yeah, and they said it was a good neighborhood. Where's the phone? Well, let's move carefully along the corridor. Wow, and what's that smell? Someone died here? And the walls? Damp and pulsating. There must be a string around here, somewhere to turn the light. Oh, it's... it's a tongue! I went into someone's mouth, but it seems to be too late. What do you know about loneliness? I return to an empty apartment, even the alcoholic neighbor is not rowdy today. The evening will be boring. And then I hear voices. What the heck? I run into the room and, hello, we've arrived. Three demons are sitting at a table playing cards. And we are like this. Their red-headed slept on the table. Yes, you come on in, don't be shy, threw a tall one when he saw me. Who are you? I barely squeezed out. Interesting you are. How many times has your wife told you that one day you'll drunk yourself to hell? I'm not married. The devil looked at each other in surprise. Marcus Bradley? No, he's my neighbor. Oops, miscalculated, said the tall one and went through the wall. Wait, sit with me, I screamed in despair. You first start drinking and then ask, the red-headed mother and disappeared behind the wall. What do you know about loneliness? He brought me to his lair. God, everything smelled of death here. It's too late. No way to run. I see the remains of those unfortunate like me. His pet monster roams nearby. Saliva drips from his sharp mouth. It is waiting for my remains. Scavenger. I'm being dragged into the kitchen. The abode of death. My relatives die in here all around the world every day by the millions. And I'm about to replace the statistic. He let me down on cold surface. Wants to skin. Predatory, hungry eyes. I feel a blade at my neck. He raises the knife. 
the steel cuts through the air and farewell to the cruel world. Very ill. Nick threw the precious sausage into boiling water and pulled the dog away from the discarded wrapper. An hour in traffic to work, an hour back, credit, idiot boss, fucking god, fuck it, dress from the bank, legal deputies with my ex, the pipe bust, the toothache, how fucked up I am, new day, new problem. I stopped at the door of the apartment, shook the dirt out of my boots, where did it come from? I entered the empty apartment, where a lot of unpaid bills on the floor. God damn it, the tie strangles. Well, fuck it. I went to the mirror. Well, the face. I look like a living corpse. Stop. A car hit me. And yesterday I was buried. I got so fucked up that by inertia I got up from the grave, went to work and returned home. Well, I drank, so what? Anthony collapsed into the apartment. Today he got a promotion, even though he was the dumbest cop in the world. Suddenly Anthony realized that he was not alone in the hall. Opposite stood someone's silhouette. Shit, who are you? The buster didn't answer. Do you know who I am? I'm a fucking cop! In addition to stupidity, Anthony was famous for the fact that in any incomprehensible situation he grabbed a gun. And now he directed it to the silhouette of the stranger. The silhouette pointed the gun in response. Anthony shook his hand a little and laughed. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's a mirror. He hid the gun and began to undress. There followed the shot. The burglar stepped over Anthony's body. I warily tumbled into the corridor. Finally, this day is over. I love evenings. You come tired to an empty apartment, jump into soft sleepers, shuffle into the kitchen and silence. In the morning, you'll want to hang yourself with your own tie, but for now, silence. In the morning, you'll be praying for the elevator to crash, but for now, silence. Something buzzed in the ear. Now, in another. Some kind of insect got into your head. It's tomorrow. But for now, I came home. But suddenly, there was a nasty ringer next to me. I opened my eyes. What the hell? I came home and realized that I had not gone anywhere. It was a dream. An alarm clock sounded nearby. Fuck everything. I'm back. I was about to leave, but a cop knocked on the window. The ex kicked out of the house. And now I live in a wheelbarrow. Estimate he brought a new bitch to our nest. Freaks, I hate them. Ma'am, are you all right? I put on a smile and nodded. The palms got wet, parked in a warm place, and the glove compartment is full of unpaid bills. It's all right, officer, I swallowed nervously. I'm leaving already. Don't forget to buckle up and tell your passengers. Oh, sure, they just fell asleep on the way. The cop smiled and walked away. I fastened the seat belts of the bodies of my ex and his hoe, adjusted their dark glasses. That way, no one will suspect anything. It was a terrible idea, but it's too late, I said to myself looking in the mirror. Bad idea to go to that party. It's a bad idea to drink champagne and prove to the boss that he's a complete asshole. Terrible idea to steal an ex car without even having a license. The idea is not better than running around the city park from the cops. Keep pushing the gas when one of the cops threw himself on the hood. The idea is also so-so. Mixing the pedals and driving into your own house at speed is just a monstrous idea. But it's too late to change anything. I parked in the hallway. I looked again in the rearview mirror. So what's next? Further sleep. But this is a good idea. Let us know which story you liked the most in the comments down below. And also send us new themes for 100 word stories. Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumb button.